Welcome back. You could say our next guest is the go-to gal for celebrities looking for exclusive and really, really expensive puppies. She's sold beloved pets to celebs like Paris Hilton, one of the Jonas Brothers, and Blake Lively, just to name a few. And this morning, Rebecca Bice, the owner of Teacup and Toy Pets Boutique right here in Texas, and she has brought some of her most exclusive puppies right here to GMT. Have I told you yet that you're one of my favorite guests just because I love your puppies so much? They're so cute. I've been toting around Miss Tiffany here. Look at this. Aww. And everyone has thought she's like a stuffed animal. How, how much does she weigh right now? She probably only weighs about 12 ounces. Oh, she's my gosh. Tiny. And she's about three months old, you mm -hmm, said? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put her in the sure. case here because we like to pick them all up at one point or another. Tell us a little bit about your business. You specialize in these tiny teacups. Yes, we specialize in the tiny teacups, micro tiny teacup puppies, uh, which are rare, hard to find. And then we also do offer a variety of toy sizes as well, but we also offer clothes and uh, designer carriers for the pampered pet. A lot we have of people some are of looking for cute, little tiny clothes and, beds and collars. Uh, stage right here. What, what qualifies as tiny teacup? Normally the tiny teacups are going to be about three pounds full grown and then the micro tinies are usually about a pound to two pounds full grown. So They're what really breeds do you carry? Uh, we mostly specialize in hypoallergenic and non-shedding dogs. Uh -huh. We do the multi-poos. Uh, we have Yorkies and Pomeranian. Uh, Malteses as well. Then we have the little Maltipoos have really gotten famous. They're hypoallergenic. We have and Ruan in the bathroom. Well. Going, she's been going yeah. crazy too, just like <laughs> me with all the dogs there. Okay, so let's get right to the cuteness here. One lost her dress. Uh oh. Let's get right to this one because mm -hmm. she's she's a little whiny this morning. <laughs> all right. Who is this? This is a little multi poo, and these are one of our more sought after multi poos. They're the d uh, dark red. They uh, come from like Blake Lively's bloodline, is usually the ones that people request the most. And they're hypoallergenic and non shedding. Uh, they also have a really carefree, easygoing personality Hello. because they have poodle in their bloodline. They're really yes. easy to train. And how much is she? Uh, that little multi poos usually run between eight and twelve thousand. Eight and mm -hmm. twelve thousand, okay. Can someone hit? <laughs> Mark, get up here because I'm not bending over again in this dress. Probably already flashed enough for the audience this morning. We have um, a cute chihuahua here. Mm -hmm. And she's the one who's lost her dress. Uh -oh. Hi, sweetie. What's her name? Mm -hmm. That's Lily. Miss mm -hmm. Lily. And she is, you said, 10, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, how big will she get? Uh, she's probably going to be more like the uh, teacup to tiny teacup size, and she'll be about maybe three to four pounds full grown. Can we zoom in on these nails? They have painted mm -hmm. all of the dog's nails pink. <laughs> oh, she's shivering. Uh -huh. It's okay. It's mm. okay. And you have one of the more expensive ones this morning. Who's yes. this? And tell us about her. This one is a little bit older, and uh, she'll probably be right at 65000 Uh She's also going to be one of our little uh, micro tiny teacups, and, and she'll you, probably only be like You say 65000 thousand because she's already six months old yes and yeah, she only weighs what a pound she weighs just a pound what mm. who comes up with pricing and what constitutes the higher prices I'm curious mostly it's the demand and also a lot of it is uh, the celebrities you know sometimes they'll have you know puppies then just kind of like what's trending now if we have a celebrity that has a Maltese or a multi poo a lot of people see them in magazines and they want you know a puppy that's similar to what they have right uh, but a lot of it's the size they're compact easy to travel with you were saying maybe folks empty nesters and empty you know. nesters usually get these type of puppies and if you as have well. back problems they're easy mm -hmm. to lift up and they're so easy to take care mm -hmm. of yeah. they weigh nothing people that have disabilities as well yeah mm -hmm. that's true what yeah. about insurance because if I'm going I would I, I personally could never <laughs> um, pay $65,000 for a dog but for those who can does insurance go along with that? What there do you is do? insurance that you can get for your pets as well. Uh, search the internet for pet insurance. There's a type of health insurance that you can get, you know, as well to cover any health expenses that you may incur. Um, but they're normally pretty healthy, hardy little dogs. They may be tiny in size, but they go on to live. Uh, most of the tinier ones can live uh, up to 10 years, mm -hmm. and some of the little tiny toys and toy sizes can oh, live up to 15 God. and 18 years. I'll pick you mm -hmm. up. You just, you're not going to be quiet until I. Do, huh? And mm -hmm. I want to mention, you know, we're firm believers in adopting from mm -hmm. um, a shelter because that's so important. But you oh, guys yeah. do adopt. Yes, we do. You're not a puppy well. mill because no. we don't need to be getting all those phone no. calls. You, you, you do it right. <laughs> yes. And um, you're also involved with some charities, which I think is really important. Can you tell us about that? Yes. If, if there was a, like, especially a child that had a terminally, uh, you know, illness mm -hmm. that, you know, they were, didn't have long to live, something was wrong, they can contact uh, the Make-A-Wish Foundation. We also do like the KLT. Christmas wish, you know, mm -hmm. people that, you know, sometimes they're having a hardship 
trips and things and uh, contact us to get a puppy as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're located in Forney? We're located in Forney. Uh -huh. And how many dogs do you have any given week? Uh, we could probably have anywhere from maybe five to ten puppies okay. in a week. But you did say there are some waiting lists. Yes, there are. Like if you wanted the rare, unique colors, the extreme tinies, right. you may have to get on a waiting list to actually get one. Uh, they're a little harder to breed. Their parents are really tiny and they normally only have one or two puppies in a litter. So that could be something that you know people need to consider, especially if they're right, looking for a Christmas puppy. May want to get on a waiting list for one. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. And we want to give your website too. It's Texas Teacups. <laughs> Dot com. It's one I'm very familiar with because I spend all my free time oh, looking right. at the cute puppies mm -hmm. on there. Rebecca, thank you so much. Okay. I'm okay. just going to sneak her off in my purse and okay. we'll be gone. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, we are taking the bull by the horns, people, as we kick off a new weekly feed.